with the uh, third type of fungi. In the previous session, we had discussed about two different types of fungi. That is uh, Phycomycetes, the first type. And the second type, we discussed about the Ascomycetes. In today's session, we shall discuss about Basidiomycetes. These are commonly known as mushrooms. Basidiomycetes. All the members of uh, Basidiomycetes are commonly known as mushrooms. They grow on moist soil. They grow on moist soil, tree trunks, logs and many other plant parasites. Like this, usually these Basidiomycetes also they drive or they move towards the moist condition and uh, also where there is humidity, humidity. The mycelium or the body of the uh, basidium is branched and septate. When we compare it to the ascomycetes, same thing. The members of ascomycetes were also branched and they, they also, uh, they also we absorb the septate. That is nothing but cross walls present. And even here, in the members of Basidiomycetes, the mycelium or the body of the fungi is branched. It is showing branches and also septate. Cross walls are present. They reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation method and asexually by spores are generally not found. They are reproducing vegetatively by fragmentation. That is nothing but the mycelium is break down or cut into many pieces and each individual pieces will develop into a single new young fungi. And that is about the fragmentation method. And asexual spores are generally not found in the basidiomycetes. The sex organ is absent, but plasmogamy takes place. So sex organs are not present, but plas plasmogamy will take place in these type of basidiomycetes by the fusion of two vegetative cells to form a dicaryotic basidium. To form a dicaryotic basidium. The two vegetative cells are fused in the mycelium and that is called as the nothing but the fusion of vegetative cells to form a dicaryotic basidium. Please do recall we had used and known the term of plasmogamy. Gamy is nothing but fusion. Plasmogamy means the fusion of the plasm of two vegetative cells as well as the fusion of their nucleus. That is what we are speaking about the reproduction. When that fusion of two vegetative cells takes place, ultimately at the end we are obtaining dicaryotic basidium. And next, later, karyogamy and meiosis. First, the uh, fusion of protoplast or the fusion of the plasm took place. And next, karyogamy. That means karyo is nothing but nucleus. Gamy means fusion. The fusion of nucleus is taking place and meiosis inside the basidiospores or basidium produces the Basidiospores. The spores are always haploid and that basidiospores which are in haploid condition are produced by the process of meiosis. The basidiospores are produced exogenously on basidia. It is produced exogenously that means outside of on the basidia. It is a structure which are arranged on the fruiting body, which are arranged on the fruiting body called as basidiocarp. This 
region we are calling it as basidiocarp within the basidiocarp there is a presence of a structure called as basidiospores and in the basidiospores there is the development or formation of the spores that is nothing but on the basidia the spores are produced and the example for this is agaricus commonly known as mushroom and second one is ostilago that is commonly called as smut and third one is paxinia that is nothing but the rust which is formed on the leaves and all on the plants so these are the some of the examples general examples which can be easily seen uh, in our in our environment these are the best examples and the fourth type of the uh, mycota or the fungi is dendromycetes these are the group of fungi whose asexual and vegetative reproduction is known but the sexual phase is not known properly hence they are kept under dendromycetes why these fungi are placed under dendromycetes because when we observe the remaining upper three types of fungi that is phycomycetes basidiomycetes ascomycetes we had a very clear picture of their type of reproduction either it may be sexual or asexual type of reproduction but when we speak about dendromycetes the fungi or the members which belong to dendromycetes in these group of fungi we can see the asexual and vegetative reproduction but uh, the sexual phase of in reproduction is not known and hence they are kept under tetromycetes as their sexual phase is understood they are shifted to respective classes if in further days if we come to know about or if we get an information regarding their sexual phases we can classify them under the remaining upper classes until then the members which sexual phases are not known they class under dendromycetes the members of this group are saprophytic decomposers and some are parasites usual common things what we have seen as in the previous classes the mycelium is branched and septate even here the body of the fungi is branched and also septate that means the cross walls are present in the hyphae and next they reproduce vegetatively as usual by fragmentation method asexually by formation of the conidiophores conidiophores are also formed example alternaria is an example for dendromycetes trichoderma which is a parasitic fungi is also an example of dendromycetes and the last another example is uh, uh, colito trichum is an example for the uh, example of dendromycetes these are all having highly branched but the septa is present but in some of the fungi that is absent and the example of alternaria what we have taken here is a picture of alternaria usually these are not commonly seen everywhere and colito trichum which we are observing here uh, they are picture and trichoderma is also one of the parasitic fungi which will cause uh, many of the skin disorders in humans and many infections is also caused by that trichoderma so that's about the kingdom fungi we have completed the general characteristics of fungi as well as the different classification under the 
kingdom fungi now we are in the fourth kingdom we are in the fourth kingdom that is kingdom plantae when we see under uh, five kingdom of classification the we have completed kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom mycota or kingdom fungi we have completed three kingdoms and now we are starting with the fourth kingdom that is kingdom plantae and we do not study in detail about their classification we are just noticing some of the general characteristics of kingdom plantae because this uh, uh, classification as well as many examples are studied in detail in a separate chapter the first characteristic that is they are multicellular they are multicellular organisms and eukaryotic and importantly they are photoautotrophs they are photoautotrophs the members of plantae are multicellular they are having many cells and well developed tissues for various functions eukaryotic that means the nucleus is definite and their genetic material is enclosed by the membrane that is nuclear membrane and these members of plantae is photoautotrophs autotrophs means they are synthesizing or manufacturing their own food photoautotrophs means by the utilization of sunlight they are synthesizing or manufacturing their food hence we are using the term photoautotrophs the second characteristic is few members like cascuta are plant parasites they are the plant parasites that means they are harming some members like venus flytrap and popularly called as nepenthes and drosera these are the insectivorous plants usually all the members are photoautotrophs there are some exceptional cases like insectivorous plants like nepenthes and drosera these are insectivorous plants which derive their nutrition by catching the insects and digesting them by producing some of the enzymes and such plants are called as insectivorous plants and fourth characteristic is their cell possess right cell wall and that is made up of cellulose usually in the previous kingdoms while speaking about the cell wall cell wall we used to say that the cell wall is made up of chitin pectin but here they possess a very rigid true cell wall and that cell wall is made up of cellulose they possess or they consist well developed chloroplasts they have a very well defined developed chloroplast is present and containing photosynthetic pigments in the chloroplast first of all let me know what is a chloroplast chloroplast is nothing but an cell organelle cell organelle which is present within the plant cells and these chloroplast consist of photosynthetic pigments that means the pigments which are modified and meant for receiving of the sunlight and by the chemical reactions those uh, and also by using the raw materials these photosynthetic pigments are helpful in manufacturing of the food and that process itself we are calling it as photosynthesis and these are all happening within the cell organelle which is called as chloroplast and hence we generally call the chloroplast as kitchen of plant cells and they exhibit regular alternation of generation the plants will show alternate generation this is about kingdom plantae 
and we are in the last end of the five kingdoms of classification that is kingdom animalia this is the fifth kingdom that we are discussing under five kingdoms of classification kingdom animalia this is a kingdom which encloses all different diversity varieties of animals are placed or it is grouped under kingdom animalia these are multicellular eukaryotes as well as heterotrophs these are multicellular and in higher animals these multicellulars are developed into tissues and uh, uh, different tissues are grouped to form a well developed organs and many organs are combined and working together to frame an organ system and many organ systems are involved in an organism like that it is a multicellular and eukaryotes they are having a very true nucleus uh, with the presence of uh, the nuclear envelope which encloses the genetic material as well as their definite heterotrophs that means these animals are depending on some other organisms or autotrophs uh, for deriving their nutrition to obtain their nutrition the cell do not possess cell wall this is a very important point that to be noted here is the animal cells do not consist of cell wall they have only the plasma membrane as the outermost lining the animals they digest their food inside the body cavity and they store the store reserved food in the form of glycogen they store reserved food as in the form of glycogen or in some other organisms it may be stored in the form of fat that is the reserved food in animals the mode of nutrition is holozoic higher forms have well developed sensory and neuromotor system is present in a highly developed animals that is starting from all the animals we can see the sensory uh, structures but uh, this sensory organs are very well developed in the higher level of organisms uh, different organs and also those sensory organs are connected with the neuromotor system that means a very well developed nervous system is present in higher animals the most of them are capable of locomotion almost all the organisms which belongs to kingdom animalia will show locomotion that means they move from one place to another place by using their locomotory organs also they reproduce sexually they reproduce sexually and that is about kingdom animalia next we are going to start with the next concept that is viruses viroids and lichens <laughs>